Valentine's Day. Hope you're all doing really, really well. And I've had a great weekend. Um, yeah, look at this. So I've been using, well, before we get into that, let me just say welcome. <laughs> I hope you're all really, really well. Um, if you're new here, please consider subscribing down below and popping on the notification bell so you'll be notified each time that I do upload. And to all my returning subscribers, thank you so much for coming back. Uh, yeah, it's Monday. It's Valentine's Day. Um, so today we are going to do a uh, get ready, get ready with me for Valentine's night. So yeah, I'm quite excited for this one. I've set all the table up ready for a nice romantic dinner, me and Les tonight. Um, we don't normally do Valentine's, but I says to him, I says, let's just have a nice dinner. So I've bought some steak and some heart-shaped garlic bread and I've, I've gone all soppy in my old age. So we never really bothered. I mean, we've been together 10 years. And we just don't bother with uh, Valentine's. It's just one of those things, you know, we we buy and show love for each other. We, we buy each other all year round. We show our love for each other all year round. So, but yeah, we're going to have a nice meal. So yeah, can we just address this here? So, last night I faked and, and this is the one that I normally use. At the moment, I've been using this Nip and Fab um, express photon mousse and it's in extra dark which I really like um, my favourite is Bondi Sands but I'd ran out so I've been using that but for some reason it wouldn't come out the pump so I had to use this one this is the Primark one um, bronze PS bronze radiant glow self tan mousse in extra dark so more or less the same kind of thing which is fine and on my face, I have been using these, and these are the Lacura face tanning drops. But this is what happens, how it looks on my forehead, it, it goes all patchy. I don't, as it, when it's coming off, I don't, you know, I just don't like it. So I thought, right, I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to try the self tan mousse <laughs> on my face with... A brush so that's what I did and it's kind of really nice everywhere else but it hasn't covered up that patchiness so I think I mean it's a good job I'm putting makeup on today because yeah it'll be covered up so yeah anyway <laughs> start the videos with me to go on rambling about absolute bull as usual uh, yeah so please excuse the patchiness it will be gone shortly because we've got a brand new foundation to try Ooh. I'm so excited. I will show you my um, the finished result with my outfit and everything. I've got my outfit ready. I've got a beautiful red top that I'm going to put on and the old faithful faux leather trousers because they're just so comfortable. I, I live in them. But I will show you at the end. You know, I'll put my extensions in and everything. But so the video is not too long. I will do, you've seen me do my extensions. So I'll do those off camera and then show you the final result. But I've done my skincare. I've done my primer, so let's start and get some makeup on my face. And I went and done it. New foundation by Hourglass. I've been, I've had my eye on this for so long, and um, it retails for I think it's sixty-seven pounds in the shops for this, and it's called the. Um, seamless veil i think i'll put it here on the bottom what it's called and how um, much it is and i've got it in the shade warm honey and the lady had bought it tried it and it was the wrong shade for her so it, you know it's been swatched um which is not a problem but i managed to get this off ebay for 20 pounds so i saved 47 pounds which is just amazing so we're going to go in and we're going to try this foundation now i saw this on um wayne goss i love to watch him do makeup and he absolutely raved about it and i thought you know he got different shades to contour and everything but i just got the one 
So, yeah, we're going to try it out. I've got my mirror. Let's have a look what it looks like on the skin. I'm sure the shade's going to be okay with this bloody tan on my face. Yeah, definitely. So, we're just going to dot it all around the face. And then we're going to blend it in with um, one of the brushes that I bought the other day in um, Poundland. I can always add a little bit more if I need it, but I've just dotted it all around my face. So easy being a stick. I am obsessed with um, Hourglass at the minute. I really am. So I'm going to try this brush. This uh, It's supposed to be... Um, what was it now? Was it a contour blending brush or something? So we're going to try this one and just blend, blend it out just to see what it looks like. Yeah, the shade's fine. You can actually buy um, the brush, the Hourglass brush to um, put this on with. Which is quite expensive, but uh, yeah, I didn't go for the brush. I thought, you know what, we'll use the Poundland one. And here we are. It's blending out just fine with this. Oh, it's beautiful. That is gorgeous. I never put too much up under my eyes, as you know, because with the creases and stuff, it um, it can sit in there and not be very flattering. Oh, look at that! Can you see, beautiful. Let's see whether it covers up this atrocity on my forehead. I think what I'm going to do, I'm just going to let the tan wear off my forehead. Um, until I find something. No, it's not covering it that well. I just have to put a bit more on. Oh, well, it's not too bad, but I think because it's just so patchy across there, it's uh, it's okay on the nose as well, guys. I am. Super impressed like with that. It's not too cakey. You can see it's not 100% full coverage because you can, that's scarred me, that spot has. So that's like a little dark scar that it's left. Um, so I might have to put a little bit more on just to cover those. Let's try a bit more for another layer on just where we need a little bit more coverage. So down there. Let's try that. Yes, how Wayne Goss absolutely raved about this on his channel and I thought, you know what, I'll have a look. And when I saw the price of it, I was like, geez, that's really expensive. But I've been, uh, you know, I had a few watching on um, eBay. See, it's covered it now. Just dotting it on and pressing it in. So let's do the same up here. Just press it in rather than uh, rub it in. Yeah, that's loads better. Anyway, how are you all? Let me know um, down in the comments what you've been up to, what you've got planned, if anything, for Valentine's Day. Because I know a lot of people don't bother, do they, as they get older? Um, and yet some people do. So let me know what you, you've been up to over the weekend and that, and if you're doing anything tonight. I haven't even straightened my hair or anything. I washed it last night and I just shoved it back to get in the shower this morning. So, sorry about the state of me, but I wanted to do like a before and, you know, after picture for my thumbnail. So, yeah, proper catfishing. 
guys that foundation is absolutely stunning stunning oh god i love it and it, look at that for a match it's absolutely perfect with my tan on warm honey that is they do honey and warm honey love love that and it's so it is sheer you can't feel it on your skin uh, i don't even feel that there's any need for any powder um i probably will powder it you know where i normally do on my t-zone but oh my god it's it's pricey but 10 out of 10 for me on the um the hourglass file foundation like i say i'll leave all the details of the price and, and everything and what exactly what it's called but guys vinted ebay you can get all this high-end stuff for a, a fraction of the price 47 pound saved right what we're going to do now is um i'm here again we what i am going to do now is a little bit of contouring we're going to go all out glam today uh this is from sheen I can't even remember the shade because it's all wore off and I think it was about £3.50, something like that, but it's brilliant. So we're going to, I'm going to, I don't know what's wrong with me, do a little bit up there, a little bit down there and a little bit up there. little bit under the bottom lip just to make it pop a little bit and then we are going to blend 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 with an angled brush there we go blends out so nice i love that um that contour stick it has got like a lighter shade on the other end for um concealing as well i think i might try a bit of that actually i think i've only ever tried it once so we'll pop a bit we're going to try and brighten our eyes up a bit today it's not too bright i don't normally put a lot of concealer under my eyes because again the cakiness I would absolutely love my tear troughs filled. I think I might do it in the future, you know. So we're just going to brighten up the corners a little bit. Might have to put some a little bit lighter on, but I don't know. It's all right, that is. And as I say, it uh, it blends out beautifully. I'll just dab it with my fingers. Just to brighten up the corners. Yeah, that's worked, actually. And you know, just down here where it gets a bit dark. Hmm, quite impressed with that. It has brightened up the corners a little bit. I might put a little bit of um, lighter one there in a bit. So, what I'm going to do now, my darlings, is just go off camera and do my eyebrows because, as you know, it takes me ages. So, I'll be back in a little sec. Uh, in a little sec. In a moment. <laughs> I'm going to be using my um, NYX uh, Micro Brow Pencil in Dark Brown. So, I'll see you in a minute and I'll have done my eyebrows. I'm back. <laughs> Right, I've done my eyebrows, I've put some concealer on my lids and just powdered it down a bit. And I've also just put a little bit of powder around my T-zone. So what we're going to do now is some bronzer. Um, I'm absolutely loving the, um, yeah. Aldi dupe of uh, Hula by Benefit. So, yeah, I'm going to go in with a bit of this. 
just to warm up the face you guys know the drill i will be speeding it up in places so you know the video is not three hours long like usual <laughs> it's lovely this bronzer is it really is absolutely love it and as i say we're going glam today so let's just plaster it on <laughs> bit under the chin you guys know why one chin instead of five <laughs> just blend that down a little bit I'll just add let's get up back in a sec again <laughs> it's just got up so I just went to Medi my coffee right uh, bronzer's done next thing we're gonna do is blusher I'm absolutely loving this Primark one as well. And I still never got the little bit of sticky off. Um, it's such a beautiful pink colour. And, you know, I'm ooh, <laughs> I'm going with a pink look today. So, being as it's Valentine's Day and it's really pigmented, you don't need a lot, which I've learnt. We just tap a little bit of that. I really need to stop saying we... I don't know why I keep doing it. I'm just going to tap some up here. <laughs> oh, look at that. So pretty. So nice. Love it for a quid. You just can't go wrong, can you? And we're going to go with um, a pink and brown smoky eye today. So I can um, have a nice bright red lip because I've got a beautiful red top to wear love love that absolutely love it where's my bronzer brush gone just blend it out a little bit with the bronzer Right, let's get on with the eyes. Um, this little palette, oops, this little palette that I'm going to use is it was in one of my um, glossy boxes ages ago, and it's by Sophia and Mabel, and the colours are gorgeous. I have used it before, and I really like it. So, I'm going to put this on the corner of my eye, you know, and underneath, and use this. Um, the, the pinks as well so first thing I'm going to do is just um, an all over pinky look so uh, I think this one the lighter pink it's like a lilac -y pink just going to pop that all over my lid you can't really see it to be fair oh you can a little bit to brighten it up so, just popping that all over my lid. Just wink it out a little bit. Up over the hooded eye. My eyes are old now, guys. If I was a billionaire, I'd have a facelift. <laughs> I'd definitely have my eyes done, that's for sure. Tell the story of your life, don't they? Right, so, done the little base shade, which is really pretty. And I hope it's showing up on the camera. It's like a lilac -y pink. It's really, really nice. Then I'm going to get... Um, an angled brush and just I have uh, cleaned it it's still got a bit of green on it <laughs> um, and use this dark brown here and just go in the outer corner I 
Oh, that's really nice. I love this little palette. Look what I had it. It was in one of my makeup bags and I thought, ooh, I remember using it before and it looked nice. So I thought, yeah, definitely a Valentine's uh, palette. Now, I'm going to put some of that um, dark brown just underneath my eyes. Not too much. Just to darken it up a little bit and tie it in at the outer corner. Loving that. Then I'm going to get a little bit of concealer and just tidy that up there. I need a little bit. Scrape some off. So we don't want it to be too. Then I'm just going to blend that up. Just so as it gives that like sharp lifted look. Let's blend out the edges. love just tap it with your finger just to blend the edges out and just keep that kind of sharp I mean I'm no makeup artist this is just the way I do mine and I find as you get older I mean one of the ladies in the comments was chatting about it you know as you get older you have to do different things to your makeup, don't you? I mean, I love makeup. I've always loved makeup. But you have to change it to suit your skin and everything as you get older. And she was saying, you know, that she's really enjoying the videos because um, it's all youngsters doing, you know, all the big contouring triangles and loads under your eyes. And you just can't do it when you get older. Your, your skin is just completely different. So we have to make those changes and she was saying, you know, she's uh, really enjoying watching the videos and someone her age doing, you know, makeup videos. And as I say, I'm now a makeup artist. This is just the way I do mine and I'll share it with you guys. And I like sharing the new products as well. Now, there's a little bit of um, a sparkly pink in this one. So I'm going to put some of that just... In the middle of my eye, just for a little bit of sparkle. I mean, it is val. I mean, it's a Monday, but it is Valentine's Day. And then that just blends out the harshness of the the edge of the brown as well. Just piling that on, packing it in. Lovely, really like this little palette. Going to put some eyelashes on as well. So we're going to put the glue on. I'm going to put the glue on now. Yeah, really like that. They look pretty even today as well, guys. They really do. Lovely. 
love and that's the eyes done no it's not i'm just going to put a little bit of white eyeliner on you guys know i love the white eyeliner it proper brightens your eyes up It makes such a difference. You wouldn't believe it, but it does. It just gives them a little bit of a pop. And then uh, some mascara. And then we'll put the... Um, magnetic lashes on this is the sky high one from maybelline absolutely love this oh really that's just what i wanted that is <laughs> i had to leave that there and wait for it to dry before i can get it off top tip let it dry Get the uh, spoolie, you know, on the end of your, your eyeliner or your eyebrow pencil and then just rub it with a spoolie. Once it's dry and it just comes straight off. Mascara done. Now for the magnetic lashes. Showed you how to do this before. Just give the eyeliner a shake. Do a thin line above your lashes. Wait for it to dry. Pop your lashes on. Bob's your uncle. Fanny's your aunt. And I always go right into the corner so, you know. It does look like eyeliner and that's it we're going to leave that to dry while i do my highlighter and lips uh josephine highlighter one of my favorites pop a little bit up there Under the nose, Cupid's bow. That should be dry now to scrape off my nose. Come on. <laughs> Left a red mark, mind you, but you know, it is what it is. And just blend that out. Oh, Jesus. The bloody magnetic eyeliner has gone on top of my eyes now. I'll have to wait for that to dry as well before I can scrape that off. Oh, my God. Why does nothing ever go right when you need it to? Real life, real life. And you know, now I'm crap at editing, so it'll all be left in there. <laughs> right, next thing is lips. Bright red today. Definitely going to use this. Um, is this Josephine as well, or is this Illa Masca? Now this is Josephine as well. Bright red, look at this. Beautiful. And Maybelline Colour Stay Lip Liner. I can't believe that's gone up there. So that's the lip liner done. Let's see if I can get this bloody magnetic eyeliner from up here. Yeah, 
go on. Top tip. We love a top tip. So now, bright red lips. Oh my God. This lipstick is incredible. Love it. Oh, it's one of my favourites, that is. It's by Josephine. What colour is it? Uh, top. I have no idea. Tip. What? Oh. I have no idea what that says. Tip something. Oh, come on, focus. Tip pain. It's an unusual colour. Anyway, <laughs> that is the face. Done. I am now going to go off camera. Oh, no, I've got to put the lashes on. You know what? I'm going to straighten, go, go off camera, straighten my hair, put my extensions in, and then we'll put the lashes on. So I'll be right back. I'm back. <laughs> so I decided against the extensions because there just wasn't going right. Nothing just seems to be going right today, and I, I have no idea why. Um, yeah, so I decided against the extensions. I've just you know, done a couple of little flicks out there, put some better linches in. I've put my lashes on because, as I say, nothing's going right. And it, I don't know why. Just put a little chain on. It's only a cheap one from um, Primarni, this is. Got my chain on. Uh, perfume of choice today is the Gio Malone that I got for Christmas off my son. This is the... Starlit Mandarin and Honey. Oh, it's beautiful. So, perfumes on. This is the finished look, sweethearts, of my face. So, I'm going to put my outfit on now and I'll go into the lung mirror in the other room and uh, show you my outfit and say goodbye. I will see you in a moment. So, guys, this is the finished outfit. This top I had... I think I've had it about four, five years, maybe maybe longer than that. Yeah, it's going to be longer than that because I had it when I lived in the caravan. Um, it was from... Um, ooh, <laughs> move the camera instead of myself. It was from Boo Who, I do believe. And it's in this gorgeous red. And it's off the shoulder. I've got a V there. It's beautiful. Absolutely love it. It's just one of them timeless pieces. And the old faithful... Uh, faux leather trousers I haven't got any shoes on at the minute because you know I'm not going out anywhere and see all the crap on the bed <laughs> should see the other one uh, yeah so that's the outfit and I'm all done already just got a I've already set the table just got dinner to cook now so I'm going to tidy up and cook some dinner and just enjoy a really nice day with Les let me just turn the camera around so guys, I'm gonna I'm gonna go now. I don't know what's wrong with me today. I can't get my words out. Nothing's going right. I just don't know what's going on. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna go now. I hope you're all okay, and I hope you all have a beautiful day. Whatever you're doing today, whether it's with your partner, your friends, um, maybe you're alone. If you are, I'm sending much love. Um, yeah, some people prefer to be single. So. Oh. <laughs> Oh my God, I'm such a twat. Uh, yeah, so guys, I am going to go and I will see you all. Uh, it's Monday today, Valentine's Day. I think I'll be doing my Q&A on Wednesday. So I'll see you all on Wednesday. Enjoy the rest of your week. Please don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe down below if you haven't already. Love you guys. Take care. See you soon. Bye.